Yes, indeed. It won't be long now. Things are going to happen so fast. Your head will swim. One thing fast on the heels of the other. You won't be able to keep up. Everything will be happening at once. And everywhere you look, blessings. Blessings like wine pouring off the mountains and hills. I'll make everything right again for my people Israel. They will rebuild their ruined cities. They will plant vineyards and drink good wine. They will work their gardens and eat fresh vegetables. And I will plant them. Plant them on their own land. They'll never again be uprooted from the land I have given them. God, your God, say so. I am accelerating, O oh things, daughter. I am moving with speed to establish my end time plans. This therefore means that you too will move with speed in the work given you, and so will my judgments. You will begin to see many prophecies come to fruition starting this year. For those that are mine, you will have everything you need to accomplish the tasks ahead of you. And don't worry or fret if you feel like it's too much to be completed. For nothing is impossible with me. This work that I began in you all I shall bring it to an end. The end is not necessarily this dispensation for some of you. Remember, we return to rule and reign together, and all that is not completed will be completed then to my perfection. Those that reject me, this season speeds doom for you. For many things will befall this world, and if you continue to insist in your own ways, then you will not have my covering. In fact, what is coming is to awaken the lukewarm church and the lost, to realize that I am in control and that there is no more time, so it is now or never. I will not tolerate fence-sitters. I will kick you off the fence to decide if you are for me or against me. You have flattered enough with the world and toyed with my gift of salvation and grace. And now you must decide from this day whom you will serve. I share my glory with no one and I will not allow you to have one foot in the world and another in me. I need both your feet. I need you all. For when I give myself to you, I give you my all. To the lost who have not made a decision to follow me, know that you are following your father, the devil. For he is the one at work in you, working disobedience against me. Do you not know you are treading on thin ice that is about to give way? You are walking dead already if you will not come to me. I love you and I laid down my life for you that you may have eternal life with me. Yes. I know you have heard the message of my coming since you were children, and you are tired of everyone crying wolf, and no wolf appears. But I tell you this time around you will see me, the one whom you have pierced with your unbelief and with your scoffing. Know that I may seem slow in coming, but it is all so that you may get a chance to choose me. And today I am calling your name to come to me before this choice is taken away from you. Will you take 
my outstretched hand to you and allow me to bring you over. I tell you, the things coming upon the earth very soon, you will stand no chance against them. I am your safe tower, and if you will come, I will protect you. I will cover you with my wings, and no hold of hell will come near you. Choose me this day and live, for what is coming will sweep you to everlasting damnation, and believe me, it is the last thing you want. Put your pride aside and hear my voice. I know you and I love you and I want you with me in heaven. Don't wait a second longer. It could mean life or death. Choose well. Choose life.